Okay, so today we're gonna be servicing up a Suzuki Every. Um, so pretty much, if you know what it is, it's a little cargo van, um, just like that one. So come here, gonna go ahead, take this cover off. It usually has four screws in it, I already took them out. And we got three plugs here. Um, so I just took out the second plug. Yeah, we got the new plug. Yeah, I'm just gonna go put that in there. Okay, get this done. Now you, you could dress hand tight in this. And then I'm just gonna give this a few notches. Put this in and we're gonna do that same thing for all of them uh, these here are the wires for the coils so i'll show you how to put them back up and that's your coil bracket just there so after i do this let's go ahead and do the rest and then uh get back to you guys okay so here we go now i'll dress i used the ratchet set i just finished taking off that the last plug over here and usually the plugs are a little deep in here if you don't have a magnetic ratchet you just take your magnet pen and plug is going to come out just like that and we look at this plug we see the corrosion on it see where it's a wool plug just going to get rid of that and go ahead pop open the box Take the new plug out. And just stress that right in there. You take your ratchet, you don't want to tread it, so you just go ahead and press it in with your ratchet. Give it a nice little hand tight until it's in its groove properly. And tighten it up. You can switch gears, put your ratchet on. And, all right, just give it a little hand tight. Because that's all you want. You can check all of them. Make sure they got that nice little tight. You don't want them too tight. Just tight enough. And now we can go ahead and we can put our coil pads back in. So yes, the particular socket I was using was a 5A, which is usually designed for most spark plugs. And now I just put those sockets back in. I can go ahead and now take my 10 and get this screw. Screws for my socket. So I'll go ahead and put these back into place using the 10 screws. So we go ahead. Pretty much. Once you put these in place, just go ahead and tighten these. These could hand tighten. You don't have to really do too much tightening on these. So you want to be careful, mindful for the, that they are plastic. Firstly, 
And I'm gonna do it too tight. And now you see the size of the wires. You are from short. Short's gonna go to the first one. And you got the second one. You got the third one. All right, and that's how you change your coils. So now we wanna access the oil filter. Um, so go ahead. Let's get this a nice fill. Alright, so we want to address. Alright, so we want to just access the oil filter. I don't know if you could see it, but the oil filter is right there, and we want to drain the oil also. So we're just gonna jack it up real quick. Let's get it high enough off the ground in order to get our oil buckets and um, me under there, you know? All right, so here we go. We got the oil filter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take the oil filter off. So, just get my, my bucket in place in order to catch the oil. Filter. So we got the bucket in place, as you can see. I'm, I'm gonna be using my oil wrench. So, so I think this is pretty wide. So I'll just adjust the oil wrench for the filter. Let's get this. There we go. We done got it pretty much loose. And there you go. You see you got that oil drain taking place. Let's get that filter. Probably there. Got that little bit of drainage. You got that old filter right here. Let like that drain. Give me a 14 actually. Size 12 was too small. It's usually a 14 or 15. I should have been thinking about that, but uh, I wasn't. So, yeah. that's what I got. Uh, there you go. Give me the shorter extension too, please. Gosh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Go. Size 14 fits perfect. And make sure we have it in loosen. What 15 I give you? I asked for 14. Alright, so now we got it. Um our screw, we got it broken. We just need to go ahead and now take the screw out. And once we take the screw out, we're going to see all of this oil just start to pour out. I know this bucket isn't going to be enough, but we have a secondary bucket here to catch whatever additional oil. So there you go. You got that oil flowing. Ah, nice, eh? Yeah, there you go. Nice and falling. Let's 
see that falling up. Mm -hmm. The good thing about it, it's almost empty. And while that's doing, I could actually go ahead and put the new oil filter in. I got a oil filter at the bag, please. So, we're gonna go ahead. So that there is gonna get full in a sec. And we're just gonna go ahead and switch buckets real quick. that from underneath the vehicle and all that whatever else lying right in there and in the meanwhile we got our new filter right here and we're gonna go ahead and just hand tighten this new filter on so if you can look, see where the filter came from. And we're just gonna hand tighten this. Get this on. And put a nice little hand tighten. Because it has a seal. So once you hand tighten that, it's gonna suck. And that's just what happens. Okay. And if I want to. Since I can't tighten it, I can always add a little bit of pressure. And just tighten it just one little bit. Alright. Perfect. And that's your oil filter installation. Now I'm going to come right here. And I want to put that socket, that screw back into place. Find the screw. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put this screw back in. So you remember we did righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. So I just gotta put it in. Righty, tidy, and get it on. go we got it back on and now we take our socket switch the setting on our socket and all right and all of this takes less than 20 30 minutes uh, only because i'm teaching you guys it you know along the way i'm taking a little longer than i usually take but that's it for changing oil and no oil filter huh? what are you recording me to the oil. The recording over here. Yeah. Whatever, you gotta get a visual. Alright, guys, so usually I would have a funnel, but I don't. So I'm just gonna take my old water bottle and make a funnel. There you go, that's our oil area. And this here takes four quarts of oil in order to fill this back up. Uh, we're using some Robelin 10W30. Uh, let's go ahead. Get those oil in. some brand new oil in it and that's two quarts down yeah she's just drinking that eh only if this was there <laughs> your car will run much better 
with bear in it, trust me. I mean, I run better because I put bear in it. Damn good bear. But it is hot. What? My glove in my hair. So that's our four quarts of oil, just like that. And only one last thing to do. And that would be to put the air filter. So I've been looking around for air filters everywhere. Could not find the one I need. So I'm just gonna, I went and I got it dust out and I'm just gonna recycle the one that I have. So one second for that. filter is on the next side of the vehicle you come right here there's four prongs holding that in yeah just like that slide that air filter right in close this up so I'm gonna get that and boom service job complete literally it takes under 20 minutes to service a vehicle um under 30 minutes once you know what you're doing and if you don't know what you're doing you're gonna have much more trouble Gonna take you a way longer time. And lastly, we just put the cap back over our um, over our, our stuff. Let's go ahead and put this cap back on. I think we use like a nine, a five. 16 do this one go ahead tighten this and then we are perfectly done servicing this vehicle and that's it and for the final trick it starts sounds brand new yeah that's because it is that's what a nice tune-up and service job does for your vehicle guys so you know it's nice service up stress like new so come see me at Tread Lightly Automotive. We got tires, we got service kits, we got everything. Bullshit bank and vehicles to sell. Come see us.